Hello guys and welcome to Ian Explains, the YouTube channel that needs no explanation. Today we're going to be looking at typewriters, which I have right here. I will explain the history of a typewriter in another video, but today we're just going to look at the mechanics, okay? Alright, so we have here the Olivetti Lettera 25, which you can see right there. Let's roll a sheet of paper in. Um, as you can see, there are knobs which will help me roll the paper. And there's this thing called the paper bale, which holds the paper down when I have it rolled in. Okay? To roll the paper in, I put it behind a cylinder called the platen is right here. You may not be able to see it because it's very dark. I put up the paper bale and I turn the cylinder or turn the knob and that rolls the paper up. I then push the paper back and I put down the paper bale and there we go. I'm ready to type. Let's look at a couple of the other pieces of machinery on here. We have here carriage release lever. The carriage is all of what you see here. The carriage is the thing that moves. Right here you see the paper release lever. Second. What the paper release lever does is it allows the paper to move freely because right now you can see it does not move. When I flip this lever though, I can move the paper. It comes all loose. On the other side, we have the carriage return lever, right here. This, as you can see, moves the paper up, right here. Hold on. Right here, we have, have the line space selector. What that does is it means that when I flip this to a number, it makes the carriage release lever or carriage return lever do different things. On zero, which is which is on right now, the paper rolls freely and this doesn't do anything. I can move it to one. There's two clicks there, which means it moves the paper a little. I can move this to two. Three clicks, which meant that it moved the paper a bit. And then three, one, two, three, four, which meant that it moved the paper a fair bit. Let's look at the keyboard. Down here on the keyboard, we have some keys which you won't find on a computer. First, we have the margin right key. Let's take a zoom so you can see that. And the margin right key is this one right here. MR stands for margin right. Now you see, on the typewriter, there are these little things called tab stops, which is this. These can slide, and it tells the typewriter where the line stops. So you can see, I cannot move the typewriter. However, by hitting the margin right key, I can continue moving. See? Right? Other than that, a typewriter types normally. Oh, I forgot to mention. There's this thing right here, which is the ribbon selector. The ribbon is this little strip of cloth right here. That, col that determines the color of the ink when I type. Hold on. So, right now, it's on blue. So you see when I type, that is blue. However, I can also set it to stencil, also known as blank. 
the ribbon didn't move at all, meaning that it ends up being white. Or I can move it to red. Red, as you see, is on the bottom right here. And that types our nice red ink. So you see? Blue, blank, red. Let's look at the mechanics of typing a bit more. A lot of people think that typing on a typewriter requires a strong key press like this. It does not, in fact. In fact, typing on a typewriter requires a pretty light press like this. I can do it without doing this. My finger doesn't have to move much, you see? So, that's about it for typewriters. I will see you guys next time.